What's up guys, this is Burt Music and welcome back to NX1, also known as Call of Duty Future Warfare. Before we get into this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the last NX1 video. It's very obvious that you guys want to see more of this game, so we're going to finish the campaign today. If you guys saw the last video, then you would know that the first four missions of the campaign, they're actually kind of more like OG Modern Warfare 2, more than like Future Warfare, but it really looks like these last four missions are going to be more of like the futuristic mission, so I can't wait to check them out. So yeah, man, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more NX1 or some other cut or canceled Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and we're going to start this video with the fifth mission of the the NX1 campaign called Descent. Just from that preview picture, it's really giving me some Infinite Warfare throwback, as well as maybe even like some Modern Warfare 2, when they show the astronauts in the space station as like part of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. So let's check it out, man. Going in on regular difficulty. Now, I did tweak my emulator settings, so hopefully the game will run a little bit smoother and it should look higher quality. I was able to increase the resolution scale, so I should be playing at like 4K. I'm hoping it's gonna run better. Okay, so we got Descent. We're playing as Walker. The Southern Rim. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. So this is, uh, I can't tell if it's lag or not, but it also might be zero gravity. But dude, look at the gun we're holding. What is this? Oh yeah, it's definitely zero gravity, dude. The music and everything. This is crazy. Look at this. What are these guns? We have the Hera 82 and the G-Lo 762. These guns look crazy. Can we change the sight? Nope, that's just how it looks. All right, let's go and see Keen. What are we doing? Where are oh my... Where are we going? Oh, the lighting issues. Yo, honestly, it kind of feels like we're at Disney right now. <laughs> it's like we're on a ride, but... Oh, we have to shoot these guys? Uh, are these bad guys? Oh, they are. Okay. Oh. Okay, so the bullet sounds are, you know, a little different because we're in space, too. Very interesting. Oh. This really feels like a classic COD mission where, you know, we're on the vehicle and we have to shoot these guys. But I can barely track them, dude. This is difficult. Are they still over here? There's still this guy right here. I got him. He's down. What you're seeing is future warfare. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Okay, we're pulling into the next station. We're good. Hitting the checkpoint. Keys oh my god. This is our stop. Get ready. They know we're coming. Ah! Okay. Oh, yeah, they're ready for us. Okay. Not too shabby. I think we're good. Aim. Compressed air canisters, you say? Ooh. Oh, dude! I don't know why I wasn't using this gun sooner. It feels like this entire mission's like in slow-mo right now. It's really trippy. Oh, got the air canister. Sick. All right. Oh, uh, it says to move. I, I, I actually physically can't move. This has got to be a bug, dude. I don't have a grenade. I can't blow myself up. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I think we have to restart the mission, unfortunately. I'll just cut to when we're back over here. I think my game might have just crashed, dude. No. Wait, how am I just now realizing that there's a floating light here? Oh, a different gun. The ECR Phoenix AR. Yo. Oh my God. Another new gun. Dude. Wait, what was that magazine reload? Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Now we can move into the building. We're good. We're good. All right. Press and hold X to activate the lift. We got it. Wait. Did I just bug them out? Oh God. He didn't make it into the elevator properly. Oh god. Oh, did I mess up the mission? Wait, what is this? Oh! Walker, we finally caught up with you. Traitor! What's happening here? You betrayed your brother, your country! It says brokers! Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Oh! Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I think we're all dead. Oh my god. Huh? What? No, we're good. Sergeant Lambert just wanted to give us a, a little smooch. Oh my god, what is that thing? Good lord. Oh, okay, we're just walking. I thought we were floating for some reason. Now we're chilling. We're good. Now, I'm trying to figure out, we don't have an exosuit. It's just low gravity. So at least as far as I can tell... Also, wait, Corporal Bowling? Was that Robert Bowling? Oh! Oh god, the Space Invaders are gonna get us. What? He just threw us on here. What in the... Bro! What the fuck? Wait. Overflowed stack points. Wait, what? Was that the end of the mission? <laughs> this mission got weird really fast, and I don't know why all this crashing is happening, but it's all good. I want you guys to keep in mind that I also have not played these missions, and typically, once you've played them and you've cast shaders and stuff, they run more smoothly. But for the sake of these videos, I want you guys to see my initial reactions and impressions to playing this campaign. I don't want to play it first and then, like, pretend like I don't know what's going on. But who knows? If you guys want to see me go back and play these on veteran, I could try to do, like, a veteran campaign playthrough or something. Okay, so I got a little curious, and I decided to look up the mission, and it turns out we did finish the whole mission, so we can move on to the next one. I think 
think that this mission descent, I think it's potentially incomplete or like partially done. I don't think it was supposed to end there, but we can move on to the next mission, which is hit hard at home. I'm curious to see if this one's also going to be a futuristic mission or if it's going to be more like the first half of the campaign. Scripts compile error. Function is a live array already defined. What? Yeah, why isn't this mission working? I got to figure this out, man. Oh, maybe we can access it from here or something. It says NX underscore hit hard, which I think is the mission we're trying to play. Let's see if that'll work. No, nope, but it gives us the exact same error. 2,000 years later. Okay, so I did a ton of research on this, and I thought I had the patch, but I guess I don't have a working patch if I can't play this mission. It should be able to work. There's basically a part one and a part two for this mission. If I can get this figured out in time for this video to go up, then I'll try to get this mission included. If not, I might have to post it at a later time. So I do apologize for that, but let's move on to the next mission, which is Moon Base Assault. I think I might have actually seen this mission. I think this was the mission that we reacted to when NX1 was like first shared like eight months ago. Okay, the high, wait, the high grounds. It has a different name, I think. I think this is the same mission, yep. The soldier falling, I, I'm pretty sure this is the mission that we saw on Twitter. But now we get to actually play it. Oh. And there's the crash. Please don't crash on me, we gotta get inside. We gotta make it out of here, man. Come on, oh, oh, that, I think that's what crashes. Walker, get up! All right, let's get inside, come on. Ooh! Wait, they killed him. Hasn't he been with us, like, for a good chunk of the campaign? And this is where he dies. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this mission, even when they first showed it off, it was just, it looked so intense. The helmet's cracking. Just barely gonna make it. And there you go. Crazy, man. Take the helmet off. You can see them just running inside. <laughs> We can see them breaching, dude. They're gonna marine, yep. They just killed everyone. This mission is brutal, man. Have to get to the armory, oh dear. Can I get a gun? Nope. I mean, it's been a minute, man. I haven't, oh my. Oh God. He's dead. Yeah, I haven't seen this mission in eight months, so I kind of forgot exactly what happens. All I know is that there's a lot of death. It's a pretty brutal one, man trying to make our way out of here. Oh my god. Come on. It really gives me some COD 4 wet work vibes. Where you just... Oh, it's just a running sequence. Oh, Jesus. Can I get a gun? I can't. No. Alright, yeah. Let's get to the armory, Riggs. Let's go. Come on. I mean, his name is Riggs. Like Sergeant Griggs. <laughs> Where's the helmets? I wonder what happened to it. Also, yo, this crosshair, though. He's got him. Oh. Dude, wait. Is this kind of like the smart pistol? What's going on here? It has two shots? Bro. Nope. Oh my god, it's like a little mini noob tube pistol thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, I... Oh, I crashed again, man. Damn it! Let's restart it again. Okay, so we're caught back up. We should be good, hopefully. All right, we're almost at the armory. Sick. Okay, we gotta go down here. More enemies or... Wait, no. Oh, spider. It's a good spider. Hey there, buddy. Okay, we can go get our helmets. Sick. Noise. Thing, huh? <laughs> yes. Sick. All right, let's go get our gun. Oh, God. The Hera 82 and sealant. Oh, engage patch system. Sick. Basically got our little stimmy. Oh, wait. Oh, that actually heals the suit. Oh, my God. So we have to manually heal the suit. Good Lord. They're about to breach. They're coming for us, dude. Oh my god! Jesus! There goes Spider. Oh, Spider is fucking dead. No! We gotta kill these guys. Dude, this is crazy. Now we have to backtrack and kill all the enemies that got through. Dude, this has got to be a really difficult mission on Veteran. Because you have to keep healing the suit. Keep patching it every time that you get shot. Now, on regular, it's not too bad. Okay, we can't go through there. I think. Wait, what is this? Oh, you got more sealant. Sick. Got six of them now. You know, I don't remember this part of the mission, weirdly enough. I don't know if all of this might have been shown off. Oh. Nice, got him. Oh. Crow, get out of the way. I'm not trying to shoot you. Dude, I'm like locked in. This is such an intense mission. Oh my god. It's so trippy though. Like, when you're in these zero gravity missions, it really feels like we're playing the game in slow motion. Oh my. Head glitching. Futuristic head glitching confirms. Right, come on, lads. Get that door open. Let's go. There we go. Oh my. 
shit. There's nothing we can do. Keep moving. Oh, I guess we're not gonna help him. Okay. Right. Down the hallway. Take it out. Oh. Ah! Okay, I think we're okay, though. Oh, you can see... Okay, so if you look at the suit status, that'll let you know if we need to repair the suit. Looks like we're okay for now. Oh, Jesus. Maybe not. I think we should probably patch the suit. There we go. Oh, and this is where we're gonna go. Oh, my God, dude. This is so crazy. We're getting out of the ship. Okay, so we're actually... I think we're on the moon. <laughs> no, come on, dude. We were just making such good progress. <laughs> dude, how many times is this mission gonna crash, man? I swear. <laughs> The guest has crashed. What is going on, dude? It even says, uh-oh, like, why is it crashing so much? I don't get it. Uh, I might try lowering the resolution because it is trying to load the game, I think, at 4K. I think by changing this, it's going to be at 1440p, which should still look pretty good. Okay, I'm going to be honest. It's definitely looking more potato-y. I think this might be 1080p, but I'm okay with it, as long as it'll run and work. I'm pretty sure the first time I was playing, it was more like 720p, you know? Good old classic Xbox 360 graphics. I'm hoping that by lowering the resolution, it'll kind of help. I, I changed some other settings before, and it definitely helps with the smoothness and the performance of the emulator. But up until this point, I had the emulator running at the highest resolution settings, which I think is maybe why it's having more issues. I can't guarantee that it'll fix everything, but I hope that this works better for sure. I just want to get back outside the ship, man. It was looking so cool out there. Yes, come on, let me out. Wait, did I see that right? Sergeant Zampella? Oh my god. I love how they had the in-game characters named after the people working on the project. It's just so cool. Oh. That's bad, that's bad. Across the chasm, you say? That's a COD ghost map. Wait, the Type 207. Wait! There's just straight up an Uzi! <laughs> Very futuristic. Just a stock Uzi is somehow a part of this campaign. It's too funny, man. I don't think we have to explain again that this is a canceled and cut game, but yeah. It wasn't finished. But my god, it is amazing for what it is. Oh, want to shoot all these canisters. I don't want to get hit by those. Also, we're getting messed up. We need to patch and then grab some of these extra ones. I like that it's like blatantly obvious that there's more of them here, you know? You know, even for regular difficulty, this is... It's not overly difficult, but you do have to be careful. You can easily just get shot and lose a lot of your suit's health. All right, I think we're chilling. I think we're good. We got a checkpoint. Not like it really matters, because if we crash, it's all over, but... Oh, we're going up here. Okay. This is so crazy, dude. Look alert. Oh, there's more. Dude, this mission is crazy. They're laying down. Oh, my. Ah, the grenade. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me throw the Simtex. There you go. It's just a re regular good old Simtex. Launching that guy. My goodness. Can these guys help? I feel like they're not doing that much, man. Oh. Ooh, never mind. Okay, they were definitely helping. We can go through here. I'm gonna patch again just in case. Oh my! Oh god! What? Oh! Oh my god! It's like a space nuke going off. What the fuck? LGV? What is that thing? Oh god! We are so dead. There's no way. We got our first boss, lads. Oh, no, they killed him. Jesus. Dude, the slow-mo, like, bass drops are too funny. All right, get us to cover. We gotta actually destroy this thing, dude. That's crazy. Oh, good, we get some extra patches, too. Nice, nice. Probably get the Semtexes off. Come on, blow them up, blow them up, blow them up. No, it ends. It was just getting good. Oh, come on, man. That mission was so sick, dude. And now I definitely can't wait to play the last one. This is Operation Deadbolt. I'm really hoping that this one's gonna work. <laughs> Okay, so it says error could not find zone nx underscore ss underscore repel dot ff. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to play the last mission quite yet then. Because if I stubbornly just try to go back and play this mission, it's just not going to work. It's going to crash again. Apparently, the mission is referred to as skyscraper. So maybe we can load it from like the game levels. nx underscore skyscraper. If this doesn't work, then I don't know if we'll be able to play it right now. Maybe we can try ss repel. That seems like it has a similar kind of file. Nope. Well, unfortunately, guys, I think I'm going to have to probably make another video on nx1 to be able to cover these other missions because I'm going to have to 
get the patch and that's going to take some more time to figure out and get all of that stuff going i really do apologize for not being able to get those missions for you guys in this video but that is going to do it for this video thank you guys very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed watching me play some more nx1 also known as call of duty future warfare i'm definitely going to try to get that patch so i can play more of the campaign and share that with you guys and if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see some more of the nx1 campaign and possibly even the multiplayer make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys later Outcome. 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 Outcome.